Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how I created a novel cover for a friend of mine who was publishing a novel. Uh, this is the cover that we ended up with. And uh, this is a listing of the novel on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below in case you're interested in checking the novel out. So uh, what I'm going to focus on in this video is kind of how we we came up with this cover or how uh, the final cover came to be and uh, in future videos I may go into uh, more detail on the prompts uh, but part of it of getting the, this novel cover is, since I'm doing it for someone else is working with the other person to get what they wanted and so the way the whole thing came about was I uh, I was messing around with Mid Journey, which is an AI generative uh, software program that creates AI generated images. And so uh, I, I showed my friend some of the images that I was messing with. And he asked, do you think you could do a novel cover uh, or create a novel cover using the software? And I said, well, we can give it a shot. And so what I did was I came up with some ideas to show him and I, I think I emailed a, a few things to to see if I was going in the right direction and uh, so that that was one part of the process is being able to get kind of a rough draft of an image or two send it to the person that you're trying to create the image for and see uh, if they like a particular idea or if they have additional ideas or other ideas to help you get through the process to get the final image for them. So if we go over here into uh, Mid Journey, uh, this is kind of the history of the images and the prompts that I did. And so uh, the first thing I, d I do when I create an image a lot of times is if I want an image on a specific thing, I just kind of write out what the specific thing is. If I'm just kind of messing around and I want to create something but I'm not sure what I want to create I start with some keywords or some sentences see where it leads me so if I like something I might try to uh, uh, accentuate it I might start to use certain keywords as I'm going along that seem to work for me and then I may add additional keywords or change the keywords around to see what happens uh, so what I started with with this one is just murder at the FBI Academy because the novel is about a murder at the FBI Academy so it kind of helps in the sense that you're starting off with what you kind of want or or since it's a novel what the plot is uh, or the the basic uh, kind of tagline of the novel and then you kind of move on from there so these are the initial images that I got and right here it looks like they're maybe at an FBI Academy and they look like FBI agents and it looks like there's a body here and part of the problem is there are words on this you generally don't want words showing up in a uh, mid Germany image because as you can see they're kind of gibberish or they are gibberish they're, they're not actually words they're just letters and so uh, one thing to do is uh, to create a prompt that will get rid of those. Also, I want a uh, vertical uh, uh, image format or aspect ratio. And uh, for a novel, it's six by nine inches is the standard, which ends up being two by three uh, ratio. So that's what I'm moving towards in the next images. So we've got some here, and it's still murder at the FBI Academy. You want to try the same prompt. You want to uh, try it a few times or try slight variations of it just to see what you get because you can run the same prompt multiple times and end up getting enough variations in there so there may be something that you can work with. And so uh, right here... Uh, there are bodies laying all around it kind of does look like it's in an FBI Academy but uh, the keyword murder seems to be uh, causing it to just put bodies laying everywhere uh, which isn't working out uh, some others down here we've got it looks like they're in a courtroom which is not really what we want either there's still a lot of words 
And so I work on with the prompt. And I start with FBI Academy. And you can see right here, I ran FBI Academy and I re-rolled it right here a few times. So we have a door here and we have a uh, something that actually looks like an FBI Academy. And actually, if you see this this mark right here, the nice thing about Mid Journey is you can go back and see kind of what ones you've uh, re-rolled or did variations of or are uh, upscaled. So these are the two that I'm kind of going to do variations of and look at. So another one that I was kind of interested in is is this one right here and it's right up here what I did is I ran some variations of this. The problem with this one is initially I thought when I was looking at it that this agent was standing kind of above and there was a, a body behind him and I thought that's kind of an interesting concept but they're apparently both bodies right here, so that didn't work out either. I did some variations of this this initial door, and I did some variations of this initial building right down here that I thought would work out um, pretty well. Uh, but they didn't change significantly enough that it made an enough difference in the image and it wasn't quite right. I kind of like the dark sky right here in this one. It looks a little bit ominous. All right, so finally, after going through a bunch of itinerations uh, in running a few different prompts and seeing what I got each time I ran them or running variations of certain ones that I thought were kind of close, I got down to this one right here and we're starting to see uh, it's still the FBI Academy it's still at the 2 by 3 ratio and it has no fonts in it and it's gotten rid of the fonts in most of them this one up in the corner looks like it has some words in it and so I see these buildings here and they are starting to look more towards what I would like so this one in the bottom corner here is really the first one I, I kinda like and so I've run an upscale on this and a variations to see what the variations look like. And then I got another one down, down here. So if we look here, this one in the bottom corner is the first one I really like. And then we have these other variations uh, or these uh, other uh, images right here, which is the same prompt. And I like this one right here. And uh, so you can see this one, which would be U2, I upscale it. And uh, so if we go down further, this is one of the images I like right here. I got a few more showing up right here. And this is, a, is a, one of the images that I end up liking right here. So if we go back to Photoshop, and I go down, this is the final image, remember. So this was the other image that I liked. So, so these are the two images I liked. So what I did was, since I'm working with someone else and um, it's important that they like the picture, it's gonna go on their novel. So. So what I did was I took both of these images and put them in the same Photoshop as different layers so I can turn them on and off. And then I put the fonts in. And in fact, I even have two different sets of fonts because I have another set of fonts that lines up a little bit better with this image. But this is the final image. So I'm able to turn on and off layers uh, in this in, its, in the same image so I can create um, a final or a mock-up image of, of both using both images so I can show show my friend to see which one he likes and I can go back and forth and then I can go back on and I can mess with the font types and uh, the font positions in this image and I can 
show him what both look like with the different fonts on them to give him an idea. And so that's how I ended up with the final image. Uh, and uh, both of these images kind of have like these ominous looking clouds in front of them. This one I kind of like because there's this reflection on the ground. Uh, the reflection does not show up like in the initial um, image when you first, if you look at the original image of this, you, you don't really see this. And, and that's an important reason why you need to upscale the images to the final to look at them. So if you kind of think, yeah, this looks close, but not quite right, upscale it because different details come in once you upscale it. So that's kind of the process that I went through talking with my friend and going through mid journey to create uh, this final image and bringing it into Photoshop and getting the text and lettering on it. The other thing you can do is if you're using uh, uh, Amazon Kindle publishing, uh, they actually have a, uh, a, a novel cover generator in there. So if you have the image, you can bring it in and do the lettering within that application. And, but that's another video perhaps. Uh, I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.